Uh oh, he's at it again. Look out. <laughs> Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Wait, who's Brooklyn Teddy? Oh yeah, he's just a Brooklyn guy with a wife, a kid, tattoos, and a podcast. Trying to figure it out and enjoy life. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. All right, all right, all right. Oh, welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Welcome to the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Oh, yeah. Episode 109 uh, on October 5th, 2016. 109 episodes. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. How's it hanging? <laughs> So did you watch that? What was it? The the VP debate hashtag VP debate whatever the fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, let me let me just tell you how uh, my day started. So um, just for the fuck of it. Uh, so uh, you know, I have one of them e phones. You know, the 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 Apple company makes those e phones. You know, where the people jumped out the windows and little kids. Ma- anyway, <laughs> asshole. Anyway, uh, so I had this I had this phone for a really long time, and uh, I made the mistake of, of doing this final upgrade, and it just destroyed my battery. <laughs> and I guess it was time to you know to do it. So uh, I, I went down to the good old uh, Apple store there, and uh, you know I had to spend a lot of money for a phone because I didn't want to sign a two year contract and all this nonsense and bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bop. So I shelled out all this money and whatever, and I'm looking at my phone. And I go on the Twitter. I go on the Twitter, and I'm looking around, and I go, and I see uh, there's uh, I follow Roseanne Barr. You know, Roseanne from that. You know that she has that show, and you know, remember the Tom Arnold and all that crazy stuff. And and uh, it looks like she ran for president in in 2012, I think it is. So all right, so it's a long time already. <laughs> is it 2012? I think it was. Anyway, irregardless. Hey, listen. Uh, so she was running for the Green Party. I, I thought it was interesting, you know, a uh, political years coming up, something to watch. I go, oh, you know, that'll be a good thing. Uh, that'll be the, the movie for tonight. Well, I watched Roseanne per, for president. Okay. So she tweeted out, uh, that it's on Amazon and I have that Amazon prime thing. You can head over to Brooklyn telly.com and you can, uh, sign up for Amazon prime there too, if you want. So I'm like, all right, so. Uh, let me check it out. You know, I want to rent it. Uh, you know, Amazon Prime. So I go on my phone, my brand new phone that I got, and I'm like, wow, this is running really fast, and I got a good battery. It's not dying every five seconds. And I'm looking for it, and uh, I can't find it on the Amazon app. I can't find it. So I quickly tweet out to Roseanne Barr, <laughs> the real Roseanne, on Twitter. And I go, I'm looking for your movie, uh, Roseanne, for president uh, on Amazon. I don't find it. And, I, and I'm pretty sure, and I know for a fact, the first Twitter tweet that went out, like I misspelled Roseanne, I forgot an E, and I quickly thought I erased it and wrote it uh, properly, but her tweet back, and it, it's, uh, you could probably hear it in her voice. I'm like, is this really Roseanne Barr tweeting me back? <laughs> it probably definitely is, and it says... Brooklyn Teddy, well, at Brooklyn Teddy, at Amazon, spell it correctly next time. That may help. So I just got fucking lambasted by Roseanne Barr because I misspelled. But it doesn't matter anyway because, you know, I, I wrote back. I go, I, I probably, you know, whatever. And it doesn't appear no matter what. It, it's a, it spell checks you on Amazon. So I'm sorry if I misspelled it. But it spell checks you on the Amazon app and I couldn't find it. And then it went back and forth. And obviously, look, now you can't. The movie Roseanne for President is you can't you pre order it for December sixth after the election. It would be nice to have it like before the election and kind of you know, I guess fester in the in the political atmosphere they were in the the mishmash of insanity. Might as well throw in Roseanne Barr in and watch it. But no, you now you can't pre order for December sixth. The election is going to be over by then. So I don't know. I thought I just thought it with the timing was kind of stupid there. Getting called out on spelling by Roseanne Barr was the highlight. <laughs> After shelling a uh, fucking over five hundred dollars for a phone, anyway, fuck me. Um, but anyway, yeah, the the phone is the phone is working amazingly, you know, amazingly. 
And uh, over the weekend, well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the, the horrible track I did. Uh, over the weekend, I was supposed to uh, do a little rehearsal with a with a with an acquaintance buddy of mine, friend there, whatever. Uh, and I got excited. I was like, yeah, I haven't played in a band or anything in a while, and this seemed like you know, kind of like fuck it, you know, kind of thing, like just go out and rock, you know, whatever. And I was getting psyched, and then it got called off in the last minute there, and I was still psyched. So I plugged in my stupid bass guitar and ran some uh, random drum tacks there and tried to do an industrial. I don't know what the fuck I did, but I put it on there. It's pretty amusing, and I put up a stupid video on YouTube, and I call it the Brooklyn Teddy Project. It's got to be something. I don't know. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe you'll hate it. Like I said, uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for those subscriptions, and you, you give me a five-star rating and then give me a shitty <laughs> review. Like, five stars. This guy fucking is the worst. Can you do that? Can you at least do that, you fucking pieces of shit? <laughs> Talking of pieces of shit, did you watch that fucking vice president <laughs> debate last night? What the fuck was that, man? These two fucking lackeys. And the mo- I guess the, well, the most interesting person out of the whole thing was the uh, uh, the moderator, Elaine Kingjano. Like, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, in comparison to the, <laughs> the stark whiteness... <laughs> Of the two vice presidents there, uh, Tim Kaine and uh, Mike Pence, Mr. Tight Hair. That guy's fucking tight hair was driving me fucking nuts. What the fuck? What's Trump and Pence, the most fucking intense hair duo ever. What the fuck? Anyway, so it's, uh, this this young lady, this uh, well, this woman, Elaine Quinjano, you know, I, I never heard of her before. Whatever, she comes out and... She was like in stark contrast. I was like, "What race is this woman?" She was like, "Everything." She looks, she looks Latina. She looks Asian. She she could possibly be African American. She looks white, and her first name is Elaine. <laughs> Go, holy smokes! Well, it turns out she's Filipino. I don't know. It just it was just very it was very striking with the two <laughs> alabaster gentlemen standing sitting there. You know, just just like lapping up this garbage and just both just fielding the shit and it's just hilarious how how mike pence you know the evangelical <laughs> candidate just kind of calls out donald trump as being the pro-life candidate my boy does donnie know that <laughs> and just completely just ignoring all the crazy shit that donald trump has said so far in the campaign then we got the other guy doing cleanup for <laughs> <laughs> Hill the pill, Hill the pill, Clinton over. I don't know what the fuck they call her anymore. He's over there doing cleanup for her, <laughs> and these guys are just yim yammering, talking off topic. And uh, luckily, Elaine was there to put these put these guys <laughs> in check. It was the most obnoxious thing ever. It just kept going on and over, and it was just like you could see uh, Tim Kaine. Just doing all the cleanup, you know, this, that, just, and then just just throwing out the the uh, the bombastic <laughs> idiocy that is Donald Trump, and then you see Pence like, well, he didn't say that. No, what we meant is, <laughs> what a fucking this, and like we this must I don't know, barring all the insanity that's going on in the world, you know, the United States must look like the most <laughs> ridiculous ridiculous fucking thing ever this is like this is i don't know this is like a really bad sci-fi movie that's not that (laughs) sci-fi so we had um we had pence there with that tight hair and we had i don't know the the very effeminate (laughs) it's fine what's wrong with being effeminate nothing is wrong with that teddy um oh my gosh anyway uh Oh boy, Indi- Indiana Governor Mike Pence and Tim Kaine. Holy smokes! I don't know. It, it just it, it just it just goes on and on. And then uh, Elaine Quinjano. You know, we got these two, uh, <laughs> the fool and the maniac. Uh, I think that's fitting for both of them, fool or a maniac. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, just insanity. Like they gave her. I don't know why did they decide to give her like these the most giant eyelash. <laughs> 
I've ever seen on television. Was that necessary? I mean, you know, come on. You would look over and it'd be like, the wind would just be blowing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, the question was about North Korea. <laughs> They're talking some other shit. What a fucking bunch of garbage. Well, it's the only w- one debate. Uh, it would have been fun if they would have had some other candidates there. You know, um, what's the Jill Stein, Baracko, and the other? I don't know. It, uh, it, it would have made it a little more interesting. But this is, uh, and they opened it up and saying like, oh, it's not like a regular debate. Like they're sitting at standing at podiums and they were sitting at a table and. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was introduced as kindergarten style. Kid, kinder, kindergarten style. It, it was pretty kindergarten. That's, I think the kindergarten kids are more uh, <laughs> mature than these two guys. I don't know. The, it just it all seems like a huge political clusterfuck, and in the end, does it really fucking matter? Or is it going to matter what the fuck is going on? I mean, you know, originally I was all, you know, Bernie, 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 and then, you know, they fucking fucked him over. <laughs> You know, and now, you know, it's poised for Hillary Clinton. But the, 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 the theater here, the political theater is just, it's just sickening. <laughs> just totally, totally just sickening. Just like, oh, my stomach, whatever. So, yeah, so I, first I got, uh, I got shit on by Roseanne. And then I saw this shit. I was like, wow, I didn't even know what to do with my life. <laughs> And right before the, right before like the, so the intro thing. So I'm watching it. On, I'm watching it on NBC, and for some reason NBC it looked a little bit better to me. I don't know why, but just uh, I don't know. And then I, I switched over to CBS because for some reason NBC always the reception goes kablooey on my television. So I went over to NBC, um, and I think it was like what is that show? I don't know. It, it was like Miley Cyrus was on it. And she had like giant flowers on her. And oh, the voice. What is that? That's that show is still going on there. I don't even understand. And they had this guy, Blake, <laughs> and he's like a bully to the effeminate guy there. And everybody wants to be in it. What kind of shit? And this is the lead, this is the intro into the big vice president debate. Yes, the voice. I don't know. Uh, nobody wants to be on Miley's team, everybody wants to be on the. <laughs> I don't know. I just watched it for two seconds and absorbed all this fucking nonsensical bullshit. <laughs> wasn't any wasn't any more worse than um, than this amazing VP debate. And then you know you're you're on Twitter. You know you're trying to be funny. <laughs> Why am I even trying to? I'm not a comedian. <laughs> so uh, oh, I wish I could find the tweet now. Here it was. Holy smokes! Did, is it on there? Sam Harris, I don't know. You, uh, I'm. I guess I'm. I don't know if I could call myself. I guess a fan. I guess of Sam Harris. I don't know. And uh, let me see. I wish I could find the tweet because he tweeted out like. Uh, at least I think it was him. You never know. Sometimes it, they tweet out some crazy shit, and he tweeted out something like, "Oh, religion is the most mistaken whatever some shit." <laughs> I wish I could find it. All right, I'm going to do that trick, okay, ladies and gentlemen? You know that trick where I go into the future? Here we go. Hold on. Oh, uh, boy. All right, so, so yeah, so I, I found it. So, I, I actually, I got duped. I don't know. Why am I following? How did I get this? Sam Harris says, Sam Harris says, a collection of quotes. So, this could be completely fake. So, his religion is probably the most consequent consequential and di- divisive species of ignorance at work in the world and me like i don't why am i following i gotta unfollow this but anyway i thought it was really funny that i wrote you're preaching to the choir sammy preaching to the choir i say no you don't get it <laughs> that like i'm not right now they're doing so much construction outside as soon as i start doing the fucking podcast these guys break out fucking bulldozers they're breaking up the sidewalk what the fuck man <laughs> well, enough of my problems, ladies and gentlemen. And if you haven't yet, you should. Head on over to brooklynteddy.com. Go check it out. Go check it out. Uh, the days are numbered there on that website. We'll see what what's going on with that. We're going to see what's going to happen uh, coming up for November. And if you haven't checked out yet, uh, head on over to the Patreon site, uh, Patreon. 
P A T R E O N dot com slash Brooklyn Teddy. Uh, you know, you can help sponsor the the web the website. So you can help sponsor actually the Brooklyn Teddy podcast, make it bit bigger, stronger, faster than it was before. You know, we have a goal up there. You know, there's a little uh, perks there if you uh, help out the podcast. You can you can either uh, come up with atomic uh, topic atomic an atomic topic. A topic for me to talk about on the podcast and yammer and yammer about. You'll get a shout out. Uh, there's a cool poster there that I did, uh, you know, a while back when I was entertaining the, the tattooing idea again for the 50 millionth time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so head on over to BrooklynTay.com, you know, the companion website. Check all that stuff there. All the links are there. I'll put some extra stuff up there. And also head on over to Patreon.com slash Brooklyn Teddy. Oh yeah. Um. Um. Well. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for hanging on there. I don't know. The the construction is going insane. <laughs> like as soon as I decide, I tried to wait it out a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it's not bleeding in. I have I have a pretty uh, uh nifty microphone here, uh, unidirectional. So maybe it's not too too fucked up there. <laughs> So, yeah, just, I don't know, just going through some nonsense here. I don't know, interesting election year, what's going on here and all that nonsense. And, yeah, that was a clusterfuck last night. It was very, it's just so surreal. You watch that stuff. And just so much bullshit that's being thrown around. And, you know, like I said, this is, like, who do you, do you even vote? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm going to vote for Jill Stein. Like, what is that? I can't, I can't, I don't know, Hillary Clinton, can I vote for Hillary, what is that, more of the same, and Donald Trump, like what, is it, or is it even worth even voting altogether, just fucking do not vote in in protest, but I don't know, I just don't know, and I, you know, Trump, Trump has always been like this, I guess his best asset has been that he's got got a lot of comedic value, (laughs) And I guess, yeah, if he's amassed some kind of fortune, but he's, I don't know, if you ever been to Atlantic, if you ever go to Atlantic City, his hotels are the worst, always. Uh, I don't know, just, it just, he reeks of, like, like, he's like a white trash millionaire, or I guess he says he's a billionaire, I don't know. But uh, the Trump Plaza Hotel, he bought it for $400 million, and then it was repossessed by the bank. <laughs> He bought his yacht. It was a $29 million yacht, and then that was repossessed by the bank. He built four casinos uh, at a cost of $3 billion and then filed for bankruptcy and went out of business <laughs> and stiffed the contractors and employees. You know, hey, listen, you know, you're doing business. <laughs> I'm smart. I started uh, Trump Airlines. Imagine that shit. And never made a profit. Uh, the planes and helicopters were repossessed by uh, Citibank. Uh, you know, uh, good business. <laughs> Trump mortgage, Trump vodka, and Trump steaks all went out of business. So, you know, as long as he's in the clear, you know, as long as he's in the clear, I don't know. The whole thing is just, uh, yeah, you know, come on. And I keep bringing up the the, the ties with Russia. I told you about that. <laughs> I told you about that a long time ago. You know, he's got, a, he's got a, spe- a specific, you know, taste for a specific kind of, you know, punani. <laughs> I'm sorry, I digress, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, that's the oh, and that was the big, the other big news everywhere. Oh, Kim Kardashian got robbed. Who fucking? And it's like at every I, maybe the New York Times is probably the only one that didn't. Uh, but the Post, the Daily News, everything else. Oh, oh, eleven million. She got robbed in Paris. She nobody saw what happened, and I don't know. There was a ring on Instagram, and now they think it's all a lie and. Uh, that's what that's what what's that's what's going on in the world <laughs> that on the Brooklyn Teddy podcast and uh yeah well listen I, forgive me for this episode this was a little you know a little bit of a clusterfuck but hey listen it's the Brooklyn Teddy podcast <laughs> what the fuck did you expect anyway uh yeah well guess what you can do you can head on over to iTunes and do that review thing that you said you were going to do for me you can head on over to Spreaker and do the same thing uh, I, it's on all the outlets, Stitcher, everywhere. Do something. Come on, man. Get off your ass. Just don't download it and then let it fester on your on your device. Listen to the podcast. Head on over to one of these outlets. Write something, you know. And uh, like I said, the goal is five star with a shitty review. You know, the opposite of like remember the story I told you with the 
I don't know. It might be a good time to go to D.C. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to drop that track that I did there. Yeah. You're going to listen to it and tell me how bad it is. You're going to head on over to YouTube and check it out. Head on over to brooklyntelly.com. This is going to be a short one because the noise outside is insane. If I can come back and fill it up, I will. And you won't hear this part. But if you hear this part, that means I didn't come back and fill it up with some stuff here but content-wise. So if you didn't check out that that horrible uh, uh, VP debate, you can check some highlights here and there. I'll put some. I'll post some up if you want to laugh along. And I don't know, I don't know. Just laugh at the demise while Rome is burning. Da, 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 da. But anyway, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brooklyn Teddy with the Brooklyn Teddy Podcast. Thank you for downloading episode one hundred and nine. And until next time, I love you all. Yeah.